Hi guys, this is Lena. I'm here with my online marketing uh, tip series. I'm on uh, tip number four now. And my tip number four is set your goals. Set your goals both, uh, you know, specific goals, financial goals, time goals, and uh, put them down on paper. Think about it, put it down on paper, and uh, be consistent with doing that. Be sure you do that because a lot of people just starting up the business, especially in online marketing, thinking, oh, I'll give this a try. I'll see this works out. Maybe it'll work out. It's not really going to work if you think like that because um, for any business, for online business or any business at all, it's not going to work if you're going to see what happens. You have to believe in what you're doing. You have to have a goal uh, with what you're doing. You have to know what it is you're going to achieve, or else you're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to, you know, be where you're at, or nothing's going to happen, and you're, or you're going to spend a lot of time, or maybe even a lot of money, uh, on something that you're not going to be successful with, and then you're going to quit, and then you just wasted a lot of time and money on nothing. So. It is extremely important that you set your goals and that you know what, why you're doing this and uh, what you want to achieve with it. So uh, there's a reason that you're looking into online marketing, right? It's because you need some money. But why do you need money and for what do you need money? You can set you know, a financial goal. I want to have that much money. I want to have that much money. Everybody wants money. But you have to set what kind of amount of money do I need to achieve what I want in my life. So first of all, don't think what amount of money. First of all, realize and think about what is it you want to change in your life. Uh, what 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 would make you happy? What would what you what would you have to do in your life to get you to be happy and the people around you, your family, your friends, whatever, who you were thinking about, right? So uh, if it comes to maybe you just need some hundred dollars a month, to maybe you just want to cover some bills to help you go by in, in the month. Somebody wants a Ferrari. Somebody wants to travel the world. Somebody wants the fancy house. Somebody wants to help their family. Somebody wants to start up a school in Cambodia, like one of my goals are. It's not my first goal and it's not going to happen tomorrow. But it is one of my long-term goals. I do want to start up a school in Cambodia. I'm wanting for years, but how was I going to do that? But seeing working with online marketing made me realize, wow, that can actually be possible for me now. So that's one of my long-term goals. So you have to divide up your goals too. You know, part, you you put them in time, and you also put them in how am I going to get there and what kind of investment am I going to do to get there and how much time and uh, how much money do I need to make to achieve these goals. So put part-time goals as well. In 90 days I want to have this as a full-time living. Maybe you want to quit your job. Have, you know, time freedom is, uh, is a big one. For me it is. I want to have time to do what I want to do. And it hap it so happens I love online marketing I think that's a lot of fun I want to you know have that as a full-time job and work with it and the great thing about it is I can do it from anywhere in the world right and I just love traveling and staying in warm countries in winter and going around and I can bring a computer and uh, I can just have some internet connection and I can work and a video camera so I can make videos and make tips for you guys. <laughs> That's good. But it's, it's really important. Many people just, oh, well, I'll get to the goals later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just start working now, see how this goes. And no, don't do that. Do this as one of the first things. Why am I actually doing this? Think about it. What is it I want to achieve? And what, what kind of changes do I want in my life? And what will it take to get that? What will it cost? And how much money do I have to earn to get there? 
So uh, my suggestion to you is, and uh, this is something that I thought was really, really good and it changed my side, inside hair because it's important that you believe, right? You have to believe that you're gonna make this happen. If you're gonna just think, yeah, yeah, I'll see how it goes and well, maybe I can make some hundred dollars or maybe, well, hopefully I can make some thousand and uh, wow, is this super project here. They're telling me in three steps I'm gonna make, you know, it sounds like it's gonna fall from the sky in your lap. It's not. You, <laughs> you have to work on it. And many programs are, you know, it's maybe not wrong with the program at all. It's not the program's fault. Well, some there is because there is a lot of scams out there, but you have, if you have a perfectly good program, it is doable. Nothing is impossible. It's just you that have to make it happen. You have to work. And you have to work on yourself. And you have to believe, right? You, uh, you, have, to, you, have, you have to actually vision yourself there already. Uh, not, you, you, can't, you can't just give up. Uh, that's, that's the only, you know, that it's for sure you're not going to make it if you give up. So you cannot give up. If once you put your goals down, write them down, put them up on your fridge or have them on your phone or have them close by to you so you can actually read them every day, remind you, hey, where am I going? It's important. And uh, good thing is, imagine just having a piece of paper and a pen uh, or even on a computer, just write down what would your perfect average day be. And, and I'm saying average because it's not going to be your the perfect day in your life, but your perfect average day in your life. How would that day be? How would you like to have it every day? What is that perfect day? Write it down because you can have it in your head, but that's not the same thing. You have to write it down because then it comes so much clearer to you. And you're going to experience something weird. It just happens when you write it down. It's yeah, just do it. Do that. And have it close by. Put your goals and part-time goals. Where am I going? What do I want to achieve? I would like to... My first goal is to have, you know, this is a full-time job and I'm there. I'm not working right now. This is what I do all the time. And uh, so that I already achieved, you know. My next goal is I would like to have a house in Florida or some in a country which is really warm. So I can go away in winter, and I have to put a time on that. So I, you know, I've put you know, 18 months on that goal from my from my started in March. So, from maybe next, so on the next winter, I'm gonna we're gonna go this winter looking for houses, and next year, we're gonna buy one. Just gotta find out where, right? So we have to travel a little bit. I want to find the per perfect spot. But it's, it's, it's important. So it, this is time frame and different goals. Put it down. Put it down. What are your goals? My next goal is I really want to retire my stepdad because he's working 150% and he's taking care of my mom. She has multiple scler scler Oh my goodness, I can't say it in English. MS, multiple sclerosis. She's, you know, locked to a wheelchair and uh, she has to have help every, every day. So that's that's a big 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 goal for me to help her and help him have a as wonderful life they can so put it all down and and, and also I have to put down how, how how am I gonna achieve that and how much money do I have to earn every month to achieve that right and I believe that I'm I, I will I am going to do this but it's not you know some of the goals are not gonna be tomorrow but they are gonna happen in time and I also put a time frame in it right and um, you also have to put down how much time you're gonna use on this because that's important maybe you you know I have a full-time job and you can only work part-time on this so you put up how many hours a week are you work gonna work on this also very uh, important to do that so you don't put your expectations too high and uh, you not get there but it's also important to not set too low goals you have to put them as high as you actually have to reach and stretch to get there because if you put a too low one you're you know it's, it's too easy to attain it's 
you're not going to grow. You're not going to get there, you know, as high as you want. You have to, you have to stretch. It has to be up there. You have to have to work to get there, right? And the only way, uh, this is not attainable. Once you put your goals and uh, how you're gonna, do, how you're gonna get there, how much it's gonna take to get there in time and money. <laughs> it's the only way it's not gonna work is if you quit, right? So don't quit once you decide. It. Because so many people, when they meet obstacles and um, oh no, this is too hard. I'm not making any money because they're. There's a lot of money, uh, people in online marketing that are not making money. 98% of people in online marketing are not making a lot of money. The two top percent that are the ones successful in uh, online marketing. And why is that? Why are they successful? Because they follow the way of the successful person. They don't give up. They don't let obstacles stand in their way. They find a way around it or over it and move to the next step. So uh, one big, big part of succeeding is actually setting goals. So that's my tip number four, guys. So I wish you all the best and all the success in this. And uh, if you want to take a look at what I'm doing and uh, what I'm making money on, you can have a look right below. There's going to be some links and uh, just check it out. And maybe it will be something for you too. So see you on the next tip, guys.